I do new car, truck, and SUV reviews on YouTube, and today we are in the new 2020 BMW X5, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. They have plenty of X5s right now. So, wanted to jump in this one today because it is a very good looking, very popular SUV. So, of course, I had to check it out. Not only that, is BMW gives you three years, 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance, which is a huge perk for saving money, especially when you're getting a luxury SUV. So, that's a good thing as well. So, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. So as expected, there are several different trim levels for the 2020 X5. First one being the S Drive 40i starting at $58,900. Then you have the X Drive 40i starting at $61,200. Then there is the X Drive 50i for $76,150. And then there's the M50i, which really I'm not gonna be covering a whole lot of because if I were to review that one, that's really a review in itself. That was the performance, the Vision starting at $82,150. And so powering the one I am in today being the X-Drive 40i is going to be a three liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 335 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 330 pound feet of torque available at 1,500 RPM, power sent to rear wheels or all wheels. That's gonna be the S versus the X. So the S-Drive is the rear wheel, X-Drive is the all wheel in case you were curious. But that power is sent to the ground through an eight speed all automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we of course will be testing out a little bit later in the video. Zero to 60 time according to Motor Trend comes in at five seconds flat, which is insanely impressive for the size of this thing. And MPG numbers come in at 21 in the city, 26 highway for the S drive, 20 in the city, 26 highway for the X drive. But so then the next engine option belonging to the X drive 50i, this one is going to be a 4.4 liter twin power turbocharged V8, putting out 400 56 horsepower at 5200 rpm 479 pound feet of torque available at 1500 rpm sent to all four wheels that is just an all-wheel drive setup with that engine eight speed automatic with paddle shifter zero to 64.5 seconds which is pretty darn nice and mpg numbers coming in at 16 city 22 highway and then for the last engine option belonging to the m50i it's essentially the same option as that last one but cranked up a little bit to 523 horsepower 553 pound feet of torque zero to 60 time 3.9 seconds that is pretty ridiculous and of course with that m50i you get an m sport exhaust bigger brakes and a limited slip rear differential as well and so before we do any kind of accelerations or paddle shifter test in the x drive 40i that we have here today i did want to mention the drive modes of course and so those drive modes are very easily accessible they're going to be located directly behind the shifter there they will include eco pro comfort sport and adaptive essentially what those driving modes are going to do is adjust things like the shift points, throttle response, steering sensitivity, and also the suspension setting. So all in all, it's going to tailor your ride to whatever mood you're in that particular day. So what we are going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it in sport mode here. And we are going to hit the paddle shifters. That puts me in full manual shift mode here. And we're in second gear. Let's hit it. Yeah. Paddle shifters are insanely lightning quick, which is always nice to see, especially when we're in an SUV, because I can tell you guys, the majority of SUVs paddle shifters, if they do have them, they usually don't react quick, but BMW is well known for having amazing paddle shifter reaction times if that's even a thing, but they do. Every single time I've tested the BMW, the paddle shifters are lightning quick, whether it be an M car or an X-Drive 40i X5 that we have here today. So amazing paddle shifters in the X5 if you wanted to use them. But now that that is out of the way, what do you say? Let's go ahead and give control back to the X5 and let's do a quick little acceleration test with the X5 having full control. We'll see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. Let's find a straightaway. It looks like I found one. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, Two, one, go. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! <laughs> this is an X5, holy cow. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So some of you guys might be wondering watching this video, the X-Drive 40i, you have the least powerful X5. How exciting can that be? You can feel it in your freaking stomach. That was 
an amazing acceleration. Quite honestly, for me, personally driving a Mustang GT that hits 60 in 3.9 seconds, that kind of acceleration in this thing will instantly allow you to merge onto the highway. It'll instantly even put a smile on your face in an SUV. That was quite an amazing acceleration, quite honestly. If it were me personally, you really don't need any upgraded engine setups besides the regular base one that we have here in the 40i. But so then as always to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so you will find, of course, four wheel ventilated disc brakes. As far as the 60 to zero stopping distance goes in the X5, that comes in at 119 feet, which is really right on par for the course, to be quite honest. If you want to compare it to the Mercedes GLE, that comes in at 118 feet. So they're practically identical there. So it's pretty much as expected for the segment there. And as far as the braking feel goes, okay, yeah, it's perfectly fine. No brake pedal delay, everything feels perfectly fine there, but then touching on suspension and handling a little bit of the X5. Up front, you will find a double wishbone type front suspension in the back, lightweight multi-link rear suspension. Didn't want to mention there is an off-road package that goes for $3,950 for the X5 that adds a two axle air suspension. So that's quite honestly, not only going to help you off-road, but it is going to give you a smoother ride actually as well, if you wanted to go that route. Also an M Sport differential is added with that package, which essentially sends torque to the rear wheel with the most traction, giving you better handling and better grip for fun accelerations like we just did as well. But all in all, as far as ride quality goes, even with these off-road tires that we have on this X5, Today. we'll get more into that later but even with that the ride quality has been absolutely amazing it is a luxury SUV and the x5 is really known for that ride quality is most definitely going to be on point in this one but perhaps the first thing I noticed when I got in the x5 is the cabin noise or lack thereof it is an extremely quiet cabin so definitely very very impressed with that as well and there of course is acoustic glass front windshield side front windows that is available for the x5 as well as far as the steering feel goes that is perfectly fine and that's going to be dependent upon the drive driving mode that you put it in as well. So if you want a heavier weighted steering feel, put it in sport mode. Otherwise, just put it back in comfort mode. The other thing I could say about the steering feel, BMW always puts thicker grips for their steering wheel. Doesn't of course have much to do with the steering feel itself, but I do like that the thicker grips are there because it does give you a better feeling of being more in control. And that's one thing I've always loved about BMWs. They have the best grips when it comes to steering wheels amongst any other manufacturer that I've driven. So that is definitely a plus in my book at least. Then touching on visibility, I can actually see perfectly fine out the back. I have no issues there. And typically with this type of a shape, you really shouldn't have any issues. It's just about as good as it's gonna get, at least when it comes to SUVs. And also to go along with that with the visibility, rain sensing windshield wipers come standard as well. So that means when the X5 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, those windshield wipers will turn on automatically for you. They're kind of like automatic headlights. One less thing you have to worry about there. Also wanted to mention there is a head up display, although we don't have it today. It is optional. That comes with the premium package. It goes for $2,300 if you want to tack that on. Of course, that package comes with a ton of other stuff as well. That's just one of the things it comes with, but that's going to assist, of course, with visibility as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beast of a 2020 BMW X5. All right, here she is, you guys, the new 2020 BMW X5 finished, of course, in jet black. Looks absolutely amazing with these wheels. I'll get to those in a little bit here, but let's go ahead and start up front here. Active kidney front grille will come standard, of course, in typical BMW fashion. Functional air curtains in the lower corners of the front bumper, that's also a plus. Adaptive LED headlights to the sides, and they do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you, of course. LED fog lights coming standard as well, and LED daytime running lights, so essentially LEDs all the way around there. Did want to also mention when it comes to the headlights, though, there is what BMW calls laser light technology available that is for $1,000. Essentially what that is, is the very brightest illumination allowed by law. So those are going to be super insanely bright headlights if you wanted that kind of thing for some night driving there. And as we go around the X5 here, I'm gonna mention there's gonna be some satin chrome or satin aluminum accents throughout this one as well. So I did wanna bring that up to you guys too, but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side on this one. If you look up top, you will find satin aluminum roof rails coming standard just below that, satin aluminum window surrounds as well. Rear privacy glass in the back, of course, that's pretty much as expected on SUVs these days. Also, you got some nice satin aluminum accenting found in the front fender as well as on the side skirts down 
below there. When it comes to those side mirrors, they are body colored power folding heated side mirrors with LED integrated turret signals that all come standard, of course. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. This is the fun part in this one, at least. So as far as the standard setup goes for the X5, you're gonna find 19 inch V-spoke alloy wheels with all season run flat tires. So you got run flats that come standard and that's pretty cool. But there will be also 20 inch and 21 inch wheel designs available specifically the one we have today comes with the Eastern package. It goes a little over $5,000 essentially what that is is an off-road package more or less. It gives you those off-road tires for extra grip in the mud or in the sand if you were to take this to a beach perhaps or Aztec Island in Maryland. That'd be a nice little fun adventure but what you're currently looking at though is 20 inch matte black aluminum alloy wheels. So it's gonna be part of the off-road package essentially. That's what I'm gonna call it at least. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back on this one here. Of course, shark fin antenna up top is pretty much as expected. Rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper. LED tail lights as expected once again, and some satin aluminum accenting towards the bottom portion of that rear bumper, including integrated dual exhaust outlets to the side. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. But now since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear lift gate it is actually a power lift gate that does come standard hands-free lift gate is available as an option if you wanted to go that route but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 33.9 cubic feet behind that second row if that is not enough space however there is a 40 20 40 split meaning the second row does fold down there's actually convenient little levers back there in the cargo area if you just pull them the second row actually folds down pretty easily there but then that will bump that up to 72.3 cubic feet with that second row folded down. So quite a bit actually, quite a bit of space there if you needed it. Also, there will be a cargo cover back there, 12 volt power outlet, LED cargo lighting. A lot of manufacturers out there won't put the LEDs in the cargo section, so that's pretty darn cool. Also, a good bit, a ton of in-floor storage beneath that cargo floor as well. So you can very easily hide a lot of things under there as well. So that's pretty cool. Helps prevent things from sliding around back there, I guess. And make our way to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 37.4 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back of the X5 there. Do want to also mention for those rear passengers, they will find rear ventilation back there as well as rear center armrest with cup holders. If you wanted rear side window sun shades that is an available option for $250 for the X5. Also rear heated seats goes for $350 if you wanted that for your rear passengers. Third row seat is actually optional. That's a big thing. $2,200 option if you wanted the third row. I can't imagine there would be too much leg room for that third row in this one but if you did go that route though I would definitely leave that third row for small children but it is available if you wanted it actually. So also wanted to mention a rear seat entertainment package goes for $2,200 for that second row it's essentially large tablet style horizontal screens asphyxiated to the back of the front seat so that's going to be another option there if you wanted that four zone climate control comes with a convenience package that goes for $1,050 that again is actually what we have today so both rear passengers can set their own climate that's pretty nice but then make your way to the front seat 16 way power adjustable front seats come standard that includes four way power lumbar two way power side bolsters memory settings for up to two different drivers also those front seats will come standard heated Ventilated front seats are optional. Multi-contoured massaging seats are optional. It goes for $750. That's probably the first thing I said when I got in this one. It's actually the seating is very comfy. So it's definitely a very comfortable setup up front and I can easily see myself going on a long road trip in the X5. So no issues there for me. Take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. If you wanted a heated steering wheel, it goes for $250. And that heated steering wheel, it's a package deal that comes with the heated front armrest as well. That is something BMW does that I don't think any other manufacturer does. That's pretty cool too. It is leather wrapped with those super bolstered grips on the 10 and 2 position. So that's definitely a plus too. Now let's get to the startup though. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. It is a very heavy duty key. It's a pretty nice weight to it. You got lock, unlock, the button to pop the rear hatch, the power lift gate I should say. The lock button is actually the BMW logo in the middle there in case anybody was curious, but it essentially is all keyless entry though. So if you want, simply just leave the key in your pocket, walk up to the X5. There's a push button start just to the 
left of the shifter. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so but then once started up, as far as the gauge setup goes, it is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, an absolutely amazing looking digital gauge cluster. If you guys are looking at that red line, kind of in the center to the right there, that is going to be the plastic display that's covering it right now. I don't want to take it off, of course. I'll leave that to the customer that buys this one, but that's what that is. But essentially you got your digital speedometer on the left, tachometers on your right. Navigation setup is going to be in the middle. We're not on a road right now, so it's kind of hard to tell that, but the navigation is displayed in the middle there and of course to adjust what is on that digital gauge cluster there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel so there's plenty of different configurations you can set up up there if you wanted to it includes how many miles you have left until you hit empty of course outside temperature all your basic stuff like that but yeah you can really configure this one however you want so that's pretty cool there too and to touch on overall interior quality a little bit anthracite headliner comes standard i did want to mention that there is an alcantara headliner that is available for an additional 650 dollars Panoramic moonroof comes standard. That's what you're looking at right now. I love that it extends all the way into the back. It's one of the larger panoramic moonroofs I've seen lately. It goes all the way through the second row there. It's pretty cool. Do you want to also mention though, Sky Lounge LED roof. It's part of the executive package for $5,600. But essentially what that is, is it takes your LED lighting that is throughout the X5 and it puts it up in the panoramic moonroof. So at night, it's freaking cool looking and because of the design of that sky lounge panoramic moonroof it almost looks like little stars on the panoramic moonroof the way they set it up i saw that i believe on the bmw x7 that i reviewed last year it's absolutely amazing at night you definitely want to check that out glass controls go for 650 dollars that can be found on the shifter the infotainment dial and the start button i've seen that before too leather dashboard goes for 850 dollars a leather stitch dashboard that definitely looks nice Universal garage door openers can be found just underneath the rear view mirror there for up to three different garage doors. Dual zone climate control comes standard, but like I said, four zone climate control is optional. That's what we have today. Wireless phone charger comes with the convenience package that we have today. It's gonna to be located in front of the shifter and in front of the cup holders there. It's always nice. Ambient lighting comes standard. You guys are looking at that right now. I'm gonna leave it on blue because I like that setup there, but there's different colors you can of course pick up on that infotainment screen that I'll get to in a second here. Heated and cooled cup holders. That's one of the quirkiest, best features about the X5. It comes with the executive package only, but it's one of those features where I feel like every car should have it. It's so darn convenient when you're driving down on a summer hot day in the 90s and you got a cold drink that you want to stay cold, but it inevitably gets warm because you don't have cooled cup holders, let's say. So that's pretty cool that that's there too. But overall, insanely nice interior quality as expected by BMW have real wood inlays found just above the passenger side glove box there in the dash also all around the shifter here you have some additional storage just in front of the cup holders again the two cup holders USB charging port up front there and a little bit of storage within the center armrest as well and there's a phone charging port in there as well also on the roof here that interior lighting that actually dims so it dims in and it dims out so that's another pretty cool feature there but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display display 12.3 inch color touchscreen display comes standard and there are of course other ways to control it besides touchscreen for instance there's a circular dial and buttons just to the right of the shifter there it is also voice control and there is a gesture control feature that is optional for the x5 that is one of the coolest things if you want to turn the radio up you simply just put your finger in a circular motion and it turns it up it's pretty crazy but bluetooth and audio streaming will come standard here android auto and apple carplay also standard factory navigation also standard climate control settings you can check out up there one of my favorite parts about bmw is that they typically do in most of their vehicles there's something called experience modes on that infotainment screen and so there's different modes like executive expressive well-being where it essentially changes the whole experience hence the name i guess but nonetheless it does things like open and close the power moonroof depending on what mode you put it in it also adjusts the ambient lighting colors it can adjust your heated seats your climate control it really adjusts just about everything they completely change the mood for the interior passengers it is quite cool and something i usually don't see on other vehicles so i love that and of course you can check out your radio information up there and by the way when it comes to the sound system on the x5 the standard sound system comes with 10 speakers 205 watts there is an optional harman kardon sound system for 875 dollars that includes 16 speakers 464 watts and lastly there is the 20 speaker bowers and wilkins sound system for 4200 dollars which includes 1500 watts 
Still to this day, Bowers & Wilkins has my favorite sound system of any other sound system that I've tested in the last 492 cars that I've tested so far. So that's a wonderful sound system if you're really into music. But nonetheless, we do actually have the standard sound system today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. For a standard sound system, quite impressive when it comes to the bass there, of course, Bowers and Wilkins is where it's at. Trust me on that one. You guys at least have to hear it. It's amazing. But actually, that was pretty impressive, quite honestly. Not as good as the other sound systems available, but that'll certainly do for the X5. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display, at least, is when you do put the X5 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you. There is a surround view 3D monitor. It goes for $700. And that package also includes parking assistance plus where the X5 will park itself for you, essentially. So if you wanted to go that route, that's there for you too. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by mentioning the 2020 BMW X5 is an IIHS top safety pick plus the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that says it all right there, essentially. Front side, side curtain airbags, latch in the back, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, some of the more advanced safety features that come standard on this one, daytime pedestrian detection, frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation, lane departure warning, a blind spot monitor with the rear cross traffic alert. That doesn't always come standard, and that's pretty cool. Auto dimming rear view mirror with the driver's side exterior mirror dimming as well. That's pretty cool. Also wanted to mention there is a driver assistance package. It goes for $1,700. Essentially, that is your partially automated driving assistant. It comes with traffic jam assist, steering and lane control automation, and emergency stop assist. So that's there for you too if you wanted it. But overall, as far as my final thoughts go on the 2020 X5, this is literally one of the best luxury SUVs you can get right now. It comes with heated and cooled cup holders. You almost never see that. LED lighting and the moonroof is available. Glass controls, massage massaging seats. BMW really thought of a lot of the best options when it comes to luxury SUVs. So I absolutely love that. Plenty, plenty, plenty of power. You really don't need anything beyond the 40i when it comes to the X5. If you guys test drive it and you give it a go, you'll see what I'm talking about there. And you gotta love it. it's an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. So all around a extremely solid pick if you are in the market for a luxury SUV like the X5. So I would definitely consider looking at this one. But so anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore.